guys. Yay, my voice is messed up again. Isn't that great, guys? It's amazing. Um, how are you guys doing today? It's 12.10. I woke up like an hour ago. The reason why I wake up so late is because I stay up um, pretty much all of the night. Wow, why do I do that? Because I'm really, really busy during the day, but it's almost going to be finished. Um, if everything goes right in my last psych course and if I pass, God willing, please, um, then I can graduate on in August 20th. So I'm really happy about that. So I'm hoping everything goes well and somehow my teacher finds it in her heart to pass me for trying. And what else? Oh my goodness. Today's Father's Day. I have um, to go to uh, one family member's house and then I have to quickly go to my aunt's house, my other aunt, with my dad. My papa. I see him. I have to see him like in an hour then come back. I don't know. And then go to my mother's. So I have a lot. I have like a, I've never ever had to go to so many places before at once. It's kind of weird. Yeah. I have to go potty really bad. I don't know why I just told you that. But I have to go. Like It's so bad what I'm doing right now. Which is holding my... Eh? Anyway, let's talk about something else. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Oh my gosh, here is right about where that guy stopped. Right there. And I stopped, I stopped, thank God I stopped. Because I would have hit him if I didn't stop, obviously. And then I go around him, and he stopped for nothing, and he flicks me off. Who does that? A crazy lunatic. That's who. Seriously, what in the world? Wow, it's cold. Sorry, guys. I'm cold. Yeah, what's wrong with my voice? Why does it always it get weird like this? It's so weird. Why is it always... Whatever. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. <clears throat> I think I'm going to think about what I'm going to say because I don't really have anything important to say other than I'm so happy that it's summertime. I love this weather. I love the heat. I love the pool. I love the beach. I love the nice everything. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I just saw the coolest thing. As I'm driving down this road, I see this little man. And he's got a little sign. It's a plastic little man with a sign. Like a bright yellow sign. Red sign. Red in the cone. Like a bright sign. So you stop. It says slow down because there's kids playing. So you just put it at the end of your driveway, and it's this cool little guy telling you to slow down. And people stop because it looks really like a real, like work is going on, so you slow down. It's amazing. I want to get one of those so bad. That's cool. Love it. Okay. So, basically, when I was six years old, my parents got divorced. And my dad left, and he had another family. And it was just me and my older brothers and my mother. And then when I was eight years old, my mom remarried. And then when I was nine years old, my little brother was born. And then when I was 10, I mean 11, my little sister, and then 12, my other little brother. So, um, I was the youngest for about nine years, and then when I turned nine, I became an older sister, an older sister. So I became the elder child. So for me, I was the youngest and the eldest child. So um, I kind of got the both worlds kind of thing. I am very motherly, which is how the elder children usually are. And, but I think that's just because I'm a girl, and not that it comes naturally for girls, but I think it 
it should. For some girls, it comes naturally to be motherly, and so it was for me. I'm going to stop and start again. So, basically, I grew up being the mother, I mean, being the youngest and the eldest. And I loved, I can say I had a great childhood. Um, yes, I had a great childhood. So, back to my father. I was never really close to him. When I was little, I was close to him because I remember when I was little, my stepfather took me and my family to Kings Dominion, which is an amusement park. And we went to the amusement park. Turn on red, this lane only. Turn on red, okay, this lane only. Okay. So we went to Kings Dominion, which is an amusement park. And they had this ride called the Scooby-Doo that I used to always ride. And my father would take me on that ride, my biological father, my father, would take me on that ride and I would, I remember feeling really safe with him. And then when I was a little bit older, my stepdad took me to Kings Maine and I went on that ride and I remember saying to him, I like it better with Papa. I like it better with Papa. <laughs> and so I liked, I basically told him I liked it better with my biological father than with him. I must have been like seven. I was still young. So, um, that's what I told him. So, anyways, so when I was younger, I was close to him, right? But then, when they got divorced, my fa my dad, like, never really saw us anymore. He moved to California, and I he had another family, and I never got to see him. And so, um, I just kind of grew up without him. And it wasn't until about a year or two, no, maybe three years ago, until after I had the birth of my second son, that we had to get together because my sister from California was coming and she got everybody together and we had a dinner. So um, my father and I, my aunt, she said, Sandy, can you please do me a favor? You know, we're getting older, but can you please, um, can you please... Um, watch over your dad, please, because he doesn't have anybody, and he's not getting any younger, and you just have to be there for him. And ever since she told me that, like, I feel bad that she even had to tell me that. I, myself, being his daughter, should know this, so I feel bad. So, I, so ever since then, we've been close. And I couldn't be happier because it's like having my dad, having a father. It's really awesome. So, thank God I was able to see him today for Father's Day. And we were able to talk. And I'm glad that we're able to talk because it's good to talk to your father, you know. It's good to have a relationship with them, with your family. Me and my mom were close and we just got into an argument about two weeks ago. And when we get into arguments, we don't talk after that for like a, a long time, sometimes months. So I think it's just because we're so much alike. What the, f you know? So we're so much alike. So we, um, so well, we're so much alike that we, um, sometimes we, we're just like that sometimes. So, as close as we are, when we get into a fight, it's not good. Okay. So, but we don't get into fights anymore. When I was younger, like in my early 20s, 17, 18, 19, 20, we used to fight so badly. That's another story, but we used to fight a lot. But now that I'm older, we don't fight. But we did get into a fight, and she called me and was like, come on, you know. I can't believe we're mad at each other. She she's doesn't live here. She lives here for now, but she's really moving to North Carolina. I'm not going to help her, and she helps me a lot. So she's like, just come on. You know, you hurt my feelings. I hurt your feelings. It's okay. Get over it, basically. So that's where we are with me and my mom. And I love her to death, too. 
So I'm really lucky that I have both of my parents to, and I'm actually lucky to have a stepdad too who cares about me also. So everything, you think it's not going to work out, you think everything is messed up right now, but honestly, everything ends up working out in the end. It might take a while to get there, but it'll, it'll work out in the end. That's why I'm trying hard not to freak out about this salon because I'm thinking everything's going to be okay and everything's going to work out in the end. So that's basically my point and story for today for you guys. Don't fret, don't worry, everything will be okay. Like Bob Marley says, everything will work out in the end. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Came back in from walking the dogs and look at how my son is laying. Isn't that hilarious? He was at the pool all day today, so he's definitely pooped. So cute. I love him so much. So beautiful.